This is this is Dr. Dan Kordelik. I want to welcome you to another segment of Destination Health Podcast. I'm here with my partner in crime, Dr. Irene Kopp. Dr. Irene, elite performance psychology trainer, the Brene Brown of burnout. She's the last one that you see, the last doc, the last resort. I kind of like that because I'm kind of like the last doc too, when I'm the last resort, right? Mm -hmm. Or somebody gets better. We, have we are our, our own ways, aren't we? Yes, we are. We have our Retrain Your Brain boot camp coming up November 8th, four weeks from stress to success. Let's talk about this, Dr. Irene. How are you today? That's the first question. I am awesome, Dr. Dan. And <laughs> This is something that I feel so powerfully about that I'm just going to hop in and, and huh. say the reason why I created this program and, and you know, have enjoyed having you join the team is because I almost died because I was physically burned out in a catastrophic car accident and almost took my two young sons with me at the time. And it was... It was my way once we survived because we really shouldn't have when you run not run drive into at full speed to a three-story high rock face in northern canada you should be a goner and when we didn't i really truly feel that it became my mission to mm -hmm. help as many people as possible avoid suffering what my family and i suffered mm -hmm. worse so, and, I mean, so I wanted to start with that. You know, thank you. Thank you for being vulnerable there. What, you know, I, I don't want to know if I want to say what was that like? I kind of want to say, you know, what were your thoughts during that time when this happened thereafter? You're in the hospital. You're lying in the hospital. You don't know what's going on. What were your thoughts back then? How did you start to think? Oh, uh, great question, Dr. Dan, because it was 18 years ago in the middle of the first SARS since COVID is a SARS virus. Yeah. And, and I was in hospital on SARS quarantine. In fact, I was the only person in the whole trauma hospital that was on complete bed rest because I broke 10 <laughs> bones in my body, including both sides of my pelvis, lying flat, completely flat and sit up. And worse than the pain was the guilt, the shame, the remorse at having almost killed my young sons. I mean, the two people that matter more to me than anything else in the world. And I almost killed them. Now I wasn't drinking. I wasn't doing drugs. Right. Right. We know that. Yes. It was. And, and at the same time, it had the same result. Right. In other words, I had pushed myself, pushed myself, pushed myself. I was running on empty. As a doctor, we make the worst patients. And I truly, that, that myth, that fallacy really, truly played into it for me that, you know, that happens to everybody else. I take care of everybody else. And that, ha you know, the bad stuff happens to everyone. Right. We, we, we've discussed this where we're the ones that are making the decisions to help individuals out. Now we need help. Yes. And it's very difficult for professionals to start accepting help and help, you know, and especially for their mental health or physical health and emotional health, financial health, you know, health, because we're supposed to know everything when it, when it, when it comes to everything. And we do in a sense, because that's who we are. That's what we've chosen to do. You know, it's just like, I could never be an auto mechanic. You don't know what you don't know. I don't know everything about that. That's not, that's not my wheelhouse. So what did you do to start getting out of this? What was your mindset? What did you, what did you think? Who did you have to become in order to get out of this state of stress, anxiety, depression, and so forth? Well, it, all of it actually started with me hitting rock bottom. Right. Reaching that place where... I felt completely alone. I was beside myself with fear and mm -hmm. all the other emotions that were sucking me down. 
And when you hit rock bottom, you have a choice. You have a choice that you can continue spiraling down because there really is no bottom and you can mm-hmm. decide that life isn't worth living and, you know, and allow your inner judge and jury to convict you and sentence you to either life in jail or mm-hmm. no life, capital punishment, or you can choose to use the experience to improve your life the lives of others. And that's what I chose to do. And I'm not saying it was an easy decision. I literally was at the darkest, lowest point of my life. Mm -hmm. And I chose to transmute, to sound like an alchemist, that burden of- A little little transmutation never hurt anybody, right? Transmutation, yes. I chose to transmute that that burden of guilt, shame, and remorse into the burden of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I made that promise. You can say you made it to God, the universe, to myself. Mm -hmm. I made that promise that if I survived, which I had at that point, that it was my job, my duty, and I would be successful if I helped prevent even one person, one family from suffering what we did, obviously not being satisfied with just one person, but it was understanding that that was my new role in life. Right. Went from being a doctor and, and I was helping sure. And at the same time, this required me to become that person that was totally outside my comfort zone. Mm-hmm. totally outside my comfort zone. I mean, I sure. had a good life. Dr. Dan, you know, when I say good life, I mean, I had the successful practice. I, 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 I was helping people, boom, 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 you know, just, I had it going on and it still was not in my comfort zone to be that, that face, that, that, right. that person at the head of a, who am I to think that I'm there to tell the World Health Organization that they have their definition of burnout all wrong, the, that the, right. to tell the heads of government, to tell companies even that you've got this all wrong. It's right. not just about self-care. It's not, a, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. And it's right. not about being flexible and giving your employees time off. That's important. And I recognize that we are designed for success and set up for failure. And by that, I mean that I wasn't just overworked. There right, was right. faulty programming, for want of a, a, a better word, inside of me that made me push and push and push and push and was sucking my energy dry at a far faster level. I, I liken it. I, I'm Dr. Dan. I know. I know that you you love is Ferraris, right? I do like Ferraris, and I did right. have a Ferrari. Yes, I did. So. Okay. Truth so, well, you know, and and that's totally awesome. And the way I I now I have to look on my cell phone. I got to look at Ferrari pictures now. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> do that afterwards. Do that afterwards. We're talking here. Okay. So, the best analogy I can give is that we, our bodies, our brains, our minds are like the highest performance sports car out there, right? That can go faster. Is it a Bugatti that's the fastest car Mm -hmm. in the world? Mm -hmm. The, and, but it's like getting behind the wheel of a Bugatti and revving the gas, Mm -hmm. but you're riding the brake because you're afraid. Right. Right. And now you're either not going to go as fast as you want, or you're going to wear out the engine and a whole bunch of other parts. Right. Right. And, and, and I could continue that analogy. And that is what happens with us is that if we do not have, if we don't keep updating our programming and get rid of what doesn't serve us at an unconscious level, I'm not talking just mindset here. Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. And saying, and and if we don't get rid of what I call the energy vampires, the right. fears, the the it just sucks the life right out of you. It sucks. It's like it's sucks like the life right out of mentors you. in Harry Potter. Right. Right. 
and 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 really that's like putting to continue that that performance car analogy it's like putting inferior fuel right into that car right right you're not giving it the energy that it needs you're not giving it its due diligence to to perform at a high level absolutely no doubt. So when i learned this and it took me years of figuring this out i'd like to say that i had that epiphany just like that and it was really easy no 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 my youngest son had a catastrophic car uh, brain injury in that car accident once they decided he was going to live we were told he would never walk he would never talk he would never pass high school and i went in mama bear fashion like hell am i allowed i got to it yeah and the no this is pg there's no swearing but i think that everybody is he double ho hockey sticks okay then? Yeah, right. Is that hockey sticks? Okay. Yes. In other words, I refuse to accept that, even though the the best and the brightest minds and specialists mm -hmm. telling me that, and they were looking right. at me like I had like three heads. I was totally delusional, in denial, could not accept the reality of my son's special needs condition now. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, absolutely not. I refuse. I will not accept that. He's will not accept it. Right. Better than he ever was before. Mm -hmm. So, and we have the, we have strategies and we have tools. Tell us now, this is a good transition. I want to transition now okay. into, into what are the benefits of this Four week boot camp. If you haven't noticed, I'm in a different office today. I got a different I, background. If you haven't noticed, mm -hmm. you know. So my partner said I can sit at his desk. Ooh, my, that's my, why my, it's so clean. What's that? That's why it's so clean compared to your usual office. Okay, so it's been a great podcast. <laughs> so, so are you saying no, 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 no? Anyway, <laughs> if I were to swing the computer around <laughs> i cleaned a little bit you okay, know what it's uh, like you know what it's like so so what is it what is it that this program is going to do when we do have a bunch of people that are listening right now so if you have any questions for dr irene whether you want to do it now or if you're looking you're viewing this at a future date um you can put it in the comment section i'll make sure that Dr. Irene gets this. So what can someone expect from this four week boot camp? What is the expectations? The expectation is they're never going to be the same. In what way? Their lives are going to be changed forever for the better. Mm -hmm. And call it transmutation, transformation. And the, what you can expect is that it is a conditioning program mm -hmm. for 28 days, 15 minutes on average a day. That's it. I made it very doable because I know that there are so many stressed overachievers out there like us who say, I don't have enough time. I need sleep more than this. I'm too busy. Right. So I created this program with people like us in mind, Dr. Dan, and I know that you and I are in the same boat there. And, and what is being taught are solid neurophysiological tools and techniques to help you release at the unconscious level, the four main barriers to your success. And when I talk about success, success in your career, your wealth, your health and energy, your relationships, your personal life, because you can't have success in one area and not in others. Something is going to give just like that sports car. So can you, can you mention the four barriers? Just mention them. You don't have to get into them. Just mention what the four barriers are. Absolutely. Based on working with my family, myself, and so many clients over the years, I came to the realization that the four major barriers, there's actually a fifth, the very first one is stress, chronic stress. Because when Who's you are- not chronically stressed today? Exactly. So that's why I, 
that is actually number one. And so the what, and I know I'm preaching to the choir here, Dr. Dan, and I'll say for our listeners purposes, when you are under stress, it's like taking a frontal lobotomy and, and wiping out what's called your executive team, your prefrontal cortex. And you can't think straight. You can't remember a dang thing. You, you can't think logically, uh, come up with creative solutions to help you with challenges. You, you can't make decisions for the life of you. And your motivation is crap. You can't get yourself out of bed, possibly. <laughs> and you certainly can't galvanize yourself into action. And mm -hmm. your inhibition, your emotional inhibition is gone. And so you're either like crying at the drop of a hat mm -hmm. or you're flying off at the handle at your, your family, your loved ones, your coworkers. Mm -hmm. And, and all of that is very necessary. It sounds like really bad to say this, but if you think about it, it's, it's your survival mechanism. And when you are in survival mode, which is what stress is, think back to caveman times. If you were presented with, you know, there's a saber toothed tiger in front of me. Should I run? Should I, should I fight? Should I just freeze and pretend he doesn't notice me? Like, are you going to sit there and go, Hmm, what would be the best thing to do? No, of course not. You need to take action, whatever that happens to be right in that moment. It's a matter of life and death. The problem is, and the challenge is, is that we humans are the only ones on the face of this earth that hold on to the stress. Mm -hmm. And it gets worse and worse and worse. So if a gazelle is being we got that critical mind going all the time, right? Right. We're busy. We're busy, you know, dwelling on awful things that happened in the past, whether it's our trauma, our, our, yes. our negative experiences or that person who betrayed us or that fight we had with our spouse. Or we're busy worried about the future. Oh, my God, how am I going to pay right. for my mortgage? You know, am I going to have a job at the end of this? They're making cuts, Right. Humans are the only ones that do that. And so we, and 100% you add in COVID, which has been an external stressor that has the world over has impacted all of us. Even, you know, I teach stress management and resilience and it still impacted me, right? The, in other words, it's, and it's giving yourself the grace to understand that. And so what I call SOS tools are those tools that you can use in the moment to calm Bring down the fire of the, the, right. the survival mechanism, the survival mode, so that your brain can actually kick back in right. and start thinking straight and coming up with those very solutions that you need. Stress, stress, is, stress is crazy. What's number two? Number two is understanding that the number one thing that keeps you blocked is fear oh boy and Huge. and there you could say there are a gazillion fears but on the other hand there are only five main fears and all of the other fears tie into that fear of death fear of disability we understand that mm -hmm. makes sense right but then there is the fear of destitution mm -hmm. in other words it could also be looked at the fear of failure right i don't dare go for that new job because i'm so afraid what if i flop yeah. Right. Then there's the fear of rejection, loss of connection. This is huge. In fact, I believe it's like the top two fear of rejection, that fear of being humiliated, that fear of being tossed out of the tribe in prehistoric times, which right. was literally a death sentence at that time. So when we say that that public speaking for most people is a fate worse than death, and they're more afraid of it than, than death. That's that fear of rejection, right? Absolutely. And then the final one is challenging to understand, and it's actually really the most powerful one. Mm -hmm. And it is fear of losing your identity, mm -hmm. right? And, and that may seem really strange and out there and far-fetched, but however, no. your identity is actually that collection right of memories of patterns and programming that makes up your unconscious mind that is in control 99% right. of the time. And it does not want to change. I get it. I get that. Yes. That it's dangerous. So fear is the next thing. In other words, there's always some kind of safety issue. Right. 
whether it means logical or not, because your unconscious mind, there is no logic there. It's completely feeling. It's, right. It's illogical. <laughs> <laughs> it is What's illogical. Number three. Number three. Number three are, I had to think here for a second. I'm doing like the, the map in my head. You're doing the wheel. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the wheel in my head. It's going yeah. around and around. Number three is that we have victim sabotage patterns playing out life. and none of us like to think we're playing the victim and i have loving news for everyone including you know i i have to own it at you know myself it's like it's not a matter are you running a victim pattern it's where are you running the victim pattern in your life and that might be oh i can't exercise because of my bum knee or i i don't have enough time i don't have enough money i don't have enough resources i don't have enough support right? I'm getting too old. It's past my time. I've had a really hard life. And that's why I can't do this, right? In other words, until you clear that's right. patterns, you cannot move forward because as long as you are in victim, you are abdicating responsibility for your life and control. In other words, you're the tail being wagged by the dog. Rather than the dog. <coughs> Excuse me. Listen. Yes. I'm, I'm going to be 60 in a couple of months. I've committed to a health program and you're involved in this too. I have to send you a text later on. And, uh, and We're progress uh, partners. what's that? We're progress partners in it. That's right. And so, and so no matter how old you are, no matter what stress, no matter what fear, this program is going to help you overcome. You know, remember back, I don't know if they had this in Canada, there was the commercial, not only am I the hair club president, but I'm a client too. You know, I am a client of Dr. Irene's in addition to. So before we get on to number three and four, I did want to state, listen, you don't have the time. I understand. I got a lot of offices. You have the time to invest in yourself to make yourself better. I don't have the money. You do, because I'm sure that you're spending money in areas of your life that are not productive for your life. And so you're going to not transmute, but transplant one for the other so that you can afford this. Because really my comment is, is how could you not afford to do this? So that you're working on yourself. Working on yourself is always paramount because I will tell you from my experience with Dr. Irene's program, and I've taken multiple programs, <clears throat> I am a better clinician. I am a better researcher. Most importantly to me is I'm a better father. I'm just a better business person. I'm better overall. As such, you do have the time to do this. You do have the wherewithal to do this because if you have as many offices as I do, you may think that you don't have the time. And that's what I thought. And Dr. Irene did say earlier today, and she has said on the prior podcast that we did, that she had to kick me hard to get me going because the program was just about done. And I'm like, I, I can't do this. I, I just don't have any time to do this. But then when I started it, I did not want to stop it because for me, the results were very rapid and very dramatic because I was open to what was going on here. And it was in immediate, it was significant. And I'm looking forward to the 28 day program. And just to let everybody know, my 13 year old is going to be doing this with me. Oh, did I say that a 13 year old was going to do this? My 13 year old is going to be doing this. So I just wanted to say that before we got to number three. So what is number three and four? Are we on three? We're on four. Are we on four or are we on three? No, we did stress and fear. We did stress, fear, and victim sabotage. Victim Sorry. sabotage, right. Now we're here, number four. four. The phone's number ringing. Four. I'm not picking it up, but go okay. ahead. All right. The number four is that I recognized that remember I said that, that we are designed for success and set up for failure. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. We're set up for failure by the programming that is instilled in us by our generally well-meaning fear-based parents. Mm -hmm. Right. In other words, it's thou shalt not do this, thou shalt not do that. So it's what we're taught, which is all fear based, because it comes from millennia of needing to survive and, and keep ourselves alive and cautious. Right. I come from farmer stock. So it was tons of sayings like better to play safe and small because the higher you go, the harder you fall. They even made wines out of it. How about? that life is meant to be hard. Life, life, life isn't fair. Just suck it up, buttercup, and keep on keeping on. And, and the only way to, that it's safe to show up is to be perfect. So there's the perfectionist program. Yeah, you don't want to be, you, you don't want, you, you, you're, you're striving, but, but you don't want to because Boy, did I hit a burnout. That's a story for another time. Absolutely. Well, That's there's the perfectionist, and then there's the overachiever programming right that's like you got to work hard you got to work hard you need to give 150 percent to everything that you do yep right so again this is all programming and i could go on and on and on come to the lunch and learn on thursday because that's what this is going to be about and so go to the lunch and learn on thursday it's 12 p.m eastern standard time i'm going to be in chicago at a hockey tournament so I'm not going to be co-hosting this one. I know everybody's disappointed in that, but I'm not going to be co-hosting this one. Bob Seeger is going to be co-hosting this. Not from the Silver Bullet Band, but Bob Seeger is going to be co-hosting this one. I'll pick it up next week if Dr. Irene, if, if, if Bob does a better job, I, I guess I'm out of a job. Anyway. I don't know. If Bob Seeger brings the Silver Bullet Band, after all, I might have to like keep him on. Just saying. I, I, You know what? I don't, I don't blame you because then I can sit back. I can put my feet up. All right. I can get a, I can get a, you know, Ganoderma, you know, coffee, mushroom coffee, and I can just sit back. Anyway, Thursday, seriously, Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the Lunch and Learn. It's free. There is the link. It's for free. It will be in the uh, comment section. I'll make sure that it's in those comment sections so that you can, um, so that you can get a little bit more information. Be about a half an hour, 40 minutes of, of your time. You're having a little lunch. Just jump on. And again, this will be well, in, you have to register. You have to register. Yeah. So the the link to register will be in the comments section for this. And mm -hmm. any other pages you'll see lunch and learn that I uh, put this on and you'll be able to um, go in through there. And Monday, Monday, November 8th, it starts. Let's rock and roll. Monday, November 8th, it starts. Dr. Irene, we're almost done here today. Almost done. What else? What else do you want to say? Any other any other comments? Would you like to know the fifth? I thought I was going to save that for the next podcast we do because even though I'm in Chicago, mm -hmm. I, th I think I think um, I think we should save it for maybe Friday morning because I do have a um, I do have a game I think at one fifteen, and okay. if I'm in Chicago, I'm in Central Standard Time, so we could figure that out and maybe we'll do the fifth on Friday. What do you think? Sounds good. I like it. Let's do the fifth on Friday because that's the type of guy I am, I guess. <laughs> All right. So any other thoughts might, you know, listen, my final thoughts are come to the lunch and learn, look in the comments section. It's going to be there. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. I'm living proof of that. So listen, get on in, come to the lunch and learn. Number one, number two, sign up for the program. Okay, right after that, sign up for the program, November 8th. It is a game changer. It is a life changer. I wouldn't be on here saying that after I was done with the program, I said to Dr. Irene, I want, I want to be involved. So I'm involved helping out right now because I want people to get this. To, you know, we're, we're here to serve humankind. As doctors, we serve humankind. This is what we're here for. So please sign up for November 8th. We'll talk about that more on Friday or Saturday, Friday or Saturday, we'll figure that out. We'll let, we'll, you know, we'll let everybody know. So you that's my final thoughts, Dr. Irene. Invitation for Thursday night. What's that? Do you want to let them know about the, the special uh, reward we have if they sign up before midnight on Thursday? I'm going to let you do that, Dr. Irene. Okay. Well, we wanted to reward 
everyone for for investing in themselves and making that decision. And and we know you get busy and you'll be like, yeah, it sounds really great, but I'll, I'll sign up tomorrow. And then guess what? Tomorrow never comes and the deadline for registering for the boot camp never comes. So we've created a little bonus for you. And that is that if you register for the boot camp before midnight Eastern on Thursday, that's November 4th, in case you're watching this later on, November 4th, we are going to give you the, we have three different levels of the program, the foundational self-study, we have the growth level group coaching with one of our certified coaches, and then there's the, the accelerator small group coaching program with me. Now, as our reward to you for investing in yourself and making yourself a priority, registering before midnight on Thursday, we will give you the group coaching, the growth level group coaching program for the price of the self-study foundational boot camp. That is a $500 savings and it's basically like half off. Listen, without, without even being salesy, I mean, that is an incredible um, value offer. And I think that everybody should take advantage of that. And that's, and that's coming from somebody who's been through the program. That is worth the price of admission alone. So I think that, you know, if you want to, and that's the most popular one. So saving 500, saving 500. And I think that's a great, a great idea. And it's Thursday, November 4th, midnight Eastern Standard Time is the cutoff date. And you have a promo code that you can share with them. And that promo code expires at midnight. On the so I have the promo code and it is the promo code that I have now. So it's in the show notes right now. So let's, let's get this rocking and rolling. I recommend it 100%. Again, I got involved because I got so much great, significant benefit. Dr. Irene, thank you very much for being on again today. You are the most interviewed guest on Destination Health wow. Podcast, Finding Function in a Dysfunctional World. And I will tell you, we've had multiple people back. I think today's podcast leapfrogs you above one other individual. But that other individuals is coming on, I think, next week. So Ooh. we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to have a little contest going on here. So it's all good. <laughs> okay, vote for me, folks. Vote for me. Vote for Dr. Irene. So I want to thank everybody for being here tonight. Everything's in the show notes. Sign up for the lunch and learn. Save five hundred dollars. The fourth, November fourth, this Thursday, midnight Eastern Standard Time. Save five hundred. It is a great, great value. Dr. Irene, thank you very much for being on again. And let's thank see you. if we can uh, do a, another podcast, I think, on Friday, maybe Saturday, from me being in Chicago. I may have to be in the hockey rink, but let's see if we can do it right from the hotel room. So I want to thank everybody for being play here. Play-by-play of the game. What's that? We can do a play-by-play -play of the game while we're we doing it. We can do a play-by-play -play -play of the game. I got to get Doc, Doc Emmerich. He's the best. I, I, can't, I can't do that. So I want to thank everybody for being on. Please take advantage of this offer. It ends Thursday. Dr. Irene, thank you very much. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for helping me out. Looking forward to be part of this 28-day journey with, with everybody that's going to sign up. So everybody sign up and we'll see you at the Lunch and Learn. And then we'll see you on Monday. Take care.